the same ridge and now we're just waiting. Waiting them out, hopefully they come out. Oh well, we just had that incident with the stag looking at us and bolting and we're just going down to get onto that clearing and old Cameron's seen this, I don't know what it is yet but he smoked it, must have been a 50 metre shot, bloody awesome, must be the second day for the trip, Man, head out lunchtime today. Awesome. Smoke them. Oh yeah. Young hind. Awesome. Get you set up for a photo. Got a good background there. Alright, yeah. right, well we've just been uh, walking down this ridge and uh, where we'd seen three deer before on a little clearing. So we uh, got down there and uh, I had a chance to shoot a stag, a velvet stag, but I missed that because my <laughs> scope was all foggy, but didn't really want to shoot it anyways. But, um, so it was coming, we're coming down here, and I spotted this um, hind just feeding on this little clearing here. And I said to Cole, yeah, and then <laughs> shoot it. So I uh, shot it, came down here, and here it is. Dropped on the spot. Dropped on the spot, yeah, my sixth deer. Sixth deer. Yeah. It's pretty good for the weather we've had, really. Um, one yesterday and one today. So. Just looking at the hind's leg, it looks like it's uh, been broken before or something anyway. It's a bit swollen, it's gone all hard so it must have been how the bones mended or fixed itself. Yeah. Second time he's butchering a deer. I think he's left half the meat on the deer. It's all good. Peaches time. Well, we're on our way back down the river and then we've got one more last climb to camp and then we'll pack up our stuff, maybe have some noodles or something and it'll take us about an hour and a half to get out so yeah no, it's been a good trip it's bloody awesome only, only real decent days we've had um, in the hol uh, school holidays actually get out and get into it so you now it's turned out perfectly anyway see you next time